Hey, people in ceramics. I am in my piece here in my living room, literally. I am lounging on a sculpture that um, I've been preparing for Mass Mocha. I have an installation there next year. And I have been thinking about teaching and learning and the situation that we find ourselves in, which is how do we work together in a totally new way as students and makers, and um, how do we exchange ideas in this new virtual environment? I have been thinking that there's a chance here to be radical about the way that we teach and the way that we learn and the way that we uh, engage our studio practice. A lot of us are at home right now looking at the materials that we have and wondering what can we make of this situation. I've been talking with students in like four different time zones and the resilience and determination to make with what they have is really inspiring. I think one of the radical ways in which we can switch up our studio practice now that it's online is to just fully embrace the fact that we're only going to be interacting with each other's work digitally for the rest of the semester. So I was thinking that we can use free and easy to use VR software tools to design a virtual exhibition space that can be our online crit room. And I think it'll allow us to experiment with installation of our works in ways that would have anyway not been feasible in a physical room in Barney. Um, so I was thinking that firstly we could use 3D models of traditional objects like pedestals and a wine and cheese table maybe to like furnish our virtual gallery space. But we can also use the 3D models to create mini environments within the gallery space that are specific to each person's project. Um, so for example, uh, there could be a VR water body in which Adrian places photographs of his sculptures since he wanted to see them in like an aquatic context. Um, and then there are just so many other ways that we could begin to integrate digital and physical elements of our work. So maybe there can be a video and then pictures of physical sculptures are superimposed or just placed floating above the video. Um, and we can just layer different types of files in that way. And the VR space could have music. Um, it could We could experiment with the materiality of the walls and the floor and the size of the space. And I think in the end, it'll serve as an online portfolio for our class, but then it'll give each of us a URL link that we can share with our friends and family, and they can access this virtual gallery space and navigate it three-dimensionally on their phones and laptops. And I think that's just super cool and contemporary. So I've been thinking today about the chance to collaborate with that energy. And I am here in Alfred, I have about 15 bags of clay and a lot of my students, most of my students have no clay at all and some of them are in self-isolation in an apartment. How might this kind of containment be expressed and examined through work that we make? Maybe in ceramics, maybe in other materials that is springing from the discussions and the hands-on making that we've had in ceramics for the first seven weeks of the course. So from this place, um, I offer my uh, bags of clay and my hands. I have hands that um, have been working in ceramics for 18 years and I invite you, the 12 people in my class, to think of ideas that could make use of that clay and these hands and we'll exchange ideas and labor and figure out, reinvent new ways of collaborating in material and with ideas. So when I was thinking about the logistics of the kind of remote collaboration and exchange of labor that Linda is describing, I was reminded of the work of Yoko Ono and Bruce Nauman that we studied in our theory art classes. Um, so some of their work included these printed sets of instructions that at first, I found hard to understand back then, but I think I get it now because it would be so cool if we can imagine giving Linda a set of instructions in the form of maybe ver verbal directions on video call or printed instructions like a DIY manual 
or a series of diagrams or even some kind of abstract code that she can decode and then interpret to use her hands and her clay back in her studio in Alfred to make clay elements for our projects. And then we can stitch these elements together in the VR space anyway. Like I'm planning to ask Linda to make these little clay cubbies for my foam cubbies since I don't have any clay.